Hey Old Sport, this is JC with CIS Trading, the creator and developer of the world's best trading solutions and capital management indicators, including the Pro Trading Chart Analysis Method 2008, the 2011 Thinkorswim Toolkit, the 2018 TradingView Toolkit, and the 2019 CIS CCT Quorum's Capitalism Theorem Economic Indicators and Solutions. In focus, we're looking on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the TradingView Toolkit from 2018, including the CISGG Pro Metrics at the bottom, the main chart overlay, which is the CISGG Pro Trader, including the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick system. All the candles are colored to that candlestick system. <clears throat> and the CISGG Pro Action, which is at the top. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the CIS CCT solutions for the CIS CCT series for TradingView. At the bottom, the CIS CCT capital performance indicator, and I'm going to go over a few revisions that I've made uh, for that indicator to be a little bit more useful and to give you a comparison with the pro metrics, and we'll go over that here in a little bit. So CIS C CCT GG market vision which you see with the chart labels at the top, and that's the blue and green cloud study. We'll go over a few things with that also. And the CIS TradingView Toolkit ProMetrics Auto Execution Strategy Algorithm, which includes the buy sell order algorithm and is the white line with the blue and green arrows, including the candlestick colors for the ProMetric trading algorithm. So to get started, what I want to look at here in focus, your used Euro US dollar. So we're looking at the Euro US dollar on a one hour chart, and we're going to take a look here at the pro metrics. What I'm going to do is kind of go over a few tips and tricks with the TradingView toolkit, and then I'm going to show you through the CIS CCT capital performance indicator how those pro metrics compared to that indicator what they provide for you as an advantage and how you can see the net price performance the net trade potential and the potential range of trading which is pro trading and understand what it is that you're trading relative to the bond in the foreign exchange market what you're trading in the foreign exchange market is in fact a bond you're issuing a secure bond and you're managing the capital on that bond in the capital structure of the foreign exchange market. So to begin with, CIS GG Pro Metrics on the bottom right hand side with the Trading View Toolkit. Two things about this indicator. The first, the number one and best method for its use, very simple strategy, is to trade any reversal with hot bar compression, any reversal with hot bar compression. So when we're looking at this Euro US dollar and you look at this first down move, if you can kind of follow my cursor there, if you go down to those pro metrics, you do have a three bar Great Gatsby signal reversal on that candle. However, it isn't in compression. Do you see that the orange is not showing? So when you're, when you're not in hot bar compression, you're better off awaiting, awaiting a reversal that is under compression. In most cases, the reversals that are under compression are the ones that are really going to have what we call market depth. So when you look at the top of the screen and you look at CISGG Pro Action with the market depth, the CISGG Pro Action, you can see that market depth come in. And when that market depth comes in, is there really a chance on this reversal with the market depth decreasing so steeply of it returning back toward a maximum high? Not likely. Typically, most markets 30% of the time have high delta. The rest of the time, the delta is moderate to low. So once you see that steep decline, if you don't have compression, you're better off waiting on compression. That's the first thing. So if you go to the next reversal, we have a three bar Gatsby signal reversal with compression on the pro metrics right here where my cursor is. You can see the orange hot bar compression. If you trade that reversal on this candle, do you see how the delta is much better in return 
than what the delta was without the compression. So that's the first tip and trick with CISGG Pro Metrics. Trade the reversals on the Pro Metrics with compression. Right? The second thing is you can also trade the price action reversals at zero. All right. Now the price action reversals at zero are this area right here. You have these three bars. One, two, three. And that's a three bar price action reversal where the third bar is less than the first bar with the second bar being a peak. That's a three bar price action reversal. So if you enter this trade hot bar compression on reversal on this candle, it gives you an exit right here on the three bar reversal at zero. All right. That's any time that you're coming from a bearish or a bullish condition with hot bar compression on a reversal. If you get to zero and you get one of these three bar price action reversals, that's an exit and a reversal back potentially short. All right. The only thing you have to be careful of is you can see that right around zero, these metrics are going to be divergent. All right. So as we move through this, we get a short here and then I have another long right here. And then I have another three bar short at zero. Right. And then the market moves down. My next hot bar compression with a reversal is here. But you can see that that's not a three bar reversal. See how the third bar is not after a second bar peak low? So we don't count that as a reversal. We want this bar to be our reversal candle and it's not under compression. Does that make sense? So then you move on until you see the next. You have a three bar short here. You have a three bar short right here and a three bar short right here. And you can see that the market depth is low. And when you get into that three bar short there, when that market depth peaks, you get this move down until you get to your next three bar, either at zero or with compression. And that is right here. So you trade that short from there to there. So we basically made a long here, got out here, got short here, exited the trade here, got back short on this three bar short, exited in reverse position here. And then when we got back up here to zero, right here, you have another three bar short. And then when you get back down here, we'll look at the rest of it here in a minute. So the two tricks to CISGG Pro Metrics, trade the Gatsby reversal, the momentum reversal with compression only right and if you are approaching zero from a bullish or bearish condition trade the price action reversal at zero up and down make sense you really don't want to trade those reversals unless they're with compression makes sense it gives you better delta in your trade and you can see that delta on your price action study as you move through that trade all right so cisgg pro metrics just as a reminder is the tri algorithm for pro trading it's a part of the TradingView Toolkit 2018 and Joshua Quorum's Thinkorswim Toolkit from 2011, which is a 31 component toolkit. It contains this pro trading methodology, which is a tri algorithm of price action, price performance, and a proprietary CIS trading momentum calculation. It's not the same as a momentum indicator, it's a momentum that's generated from the trial algorithm itself. All right, so that's CISGG Pro Metrics. Pro Trader is fairly self-explanatory with TradingView Toolkit. Blue is down, green is up, and you have your high and low level targets, and it marks that on the right side of the chart for you. I'm not going to go into detail much about the CISGG Pro Trader or the Pro Action. But what I am going to do is go over to the left side of the screen, and what I want to do is go over the CIS CCT Capital Performance Indicator. What that is, I've taken all of the interpretation from the original indicator and I've done a complete back testing 
and traded through those components also to add the interpretive concepts um, through uh, about a one year testing from the end of 2019 all the way up until about March of this year. And I've been working and developing this to add the new components to the indicator. So the first thing is the CIS CCT cost at the top. The CIS CCT cost is the dark band you see there, blue and green. And that has to do with the net total cost on the bond that you're trading. That's the net total cost on the bond in the market. And that is at 625. The bond premium is the net cost on the bond. In other words, what you pay for the bond in the market. And that's a premium of 4.90. The real bond is the total one-year yield on that bond, which is right now about 2698. And the real yield, which is the six-month yield, which is the money market yield on all capital, new capital and earnings that's added to the economy, any new capital is at around 1349. All right? Now, down at the bottom of that indicator, you see the yield spread. Now, the yield spread is a... CIS trading calculated net value metric, which tells you what the differential is in the net cost on all new money up front. The net cost on all new money added to the economy is about 3.5%, so 3.55%. Just above that, you see right here is what's called real cost. Real cost. You can see that number down here. Also, the real cost on that money is an algorithm adjusted from CIS trading value of what the capital structure is doing to either improve the cost of that money or what is happening to uh, increase that real cost in that yield spread. So currently we've gone through a process of improving the real cost down from about four and a quarter percent real cost on front end money all the way down to about three percent. So we've taken about one and a quarter percent out of that real cost. Part of that could be dollar moving higher. Uh, the other part of that could be cost coming off the bond, some cost coming off the bond, and it could be the yield increasing, and all three of those have sort of happened over the, uh, the last few days, at least for the last week. I'm not going to go over so much these in the middle. The CIS Trading Pro Trading GG Series and CIS CCT number, I'm not going to go over just yet. I'm going to touch on those here in a moment. What I do want to show you, though, is the U.S. dollar value. Now, the U.S. dollar value is the value that's adjusted for the U.S. dollar total change in value. And what it's doing is measuring what's happening to that value, whether it's increasing green, decreasing blue, or what the value itself is as far as the net change of the dollar. When you go into this indicator and you go to the settings and you click on the settings, I have it set on Forex at 100. All right. Anytime you're using a Forex pair on your main chart, you want to make sure that that's set to 100. When I go down here and I adjust it to one for equity, all right, when I adjust that down to one, when I adjust that value down to one, it's going to change the, that net dollar change to what is the real change in the money as far as an equity position, which is the dollar value itself any futures contract, any stock, any commodity. But when you're trading for an exchange, you want that value to be in those settings. You want to make sure the default is 100, but you want to make sure that it's 100. If you're looking at equity, that's to be set at 1. All right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the basic overview of the bond structure of the money that you're putting in the market in foreign exchange which is represented by what you're seeing currently. And I'm going to show you 
what I've done with pro trading and CIS trading and taken both of those algorithms and created a net capital performance indicator quite similar to Prometrics, except it just deals with the money relative to the underlying on the bond. So what, the way we do this is we go to settings and I go right here to style. I go down to the bond premium and I, I, I check, take that off. I take, I click that check mark and I take that check mark off and you're going to go through and remove the cost, the real bond, the real cost, the net yield, and the yield spread. All right? And when you remove all of those, it changes this indicator to something that looks similar to a MACD. All right? But that isn't what it is. What this actually is, is it's the capital structure in distribution relative to the U.S. dollar in that particular underlying, based on the performance of that particular underlying. So when you're looking at this euro, when we start here at the, the, the far left side of the chart, you can see how it comes down into this bearish trend. All right, now this is not technically bullish until it actually is green in the money. So right here we get these three bars here that are green. Alright? And then it goes back bearish. And then it stays bearish. And then it stays bearish a little bit more. And then we come right in here and right here where it's green right when that capital structure really changes and peaks you see a huge change in price. You can see the big spike in that candle. So the CIS trading algorithm is the, the projected net potential of the yield in the market, which is all of the orange that you see here. Dark orange down, light orange up. And then the pro trading algorithm, the pro trading algorithm is the net yield on market performance. In other words, the net yield that the market actually can be traded for. And it will plot that histogram in blue and in green. The CIS CCT and the GG series money are deal with the real-time performance projections. CIS CCT is projecting on right here a 1.7 pip or 17 tick performance and the GG series money still has what looks like about two ticks more to perform to that threshold. So the GG series calculates how far until you hit that CIS CCT target. All right? And the CIS CCT is the target. And then the pro trading and the CIS trading algorithms calculate out the net potential yield and the actual performance on cost and yield relative to the money in the market. You can see where the dollar is performing. Right now, it's performing flat at, at basically minus 11 and a half, or uh, positive 11 and a half, with no change for a little while over the last hour. And you can see that dark histogram up here where the dollar performance was all the way up to, to 481, and then it came down, and then slowly the dollar performance sort of consolidated and now the dollar performance is down here at around 11 and a half. All right. Now that is divided by 100. So when you take that off, that's 1.15 points on the dollar. All right. So that's the capital performance indicator. Now what I want to look at very quickly is comparing the capital performance indicator to the Prometrics and show you that the Prometrics actually provide for you an advantage, a huge advantage to getting positioned relative to the capital structure. So on the pro metrics, we have a buy signal right here on this candle here. And we don't, we're still in a negative trend on that candle right here on the capital performance. But you can see the divergence in the 
capital structure and the divergence in the prometrics. And you can gauge that reversal based on these prometrics relative to the capital performance. One thing that's in the prometrics, it does include a net capital performance algorithm where it can determine exactly whether or not the market can make money going in that direction or not. And so you can compare where you have these bearish lulls in that capital structure on the Euro US dollar. You can see that in the prometrics and you can see that divergence sort of building. All right. So as we move through the indicator, you can compare where those prometrics and the capital performance are relative to each other and where you get an advanced signal. For example, the three bar short right here at this top is right here and is very difficult to determine in that capital structure. You see that? So that's the capital performance indicator from Quorum's Capitalism Theorem in the CISCCT series with the Trading View Toolkit Prometric, sort of comparing those. Now, I'm going, on the main chart, I'm going to turn off a couple of things here just to demonstrate for you some neat tricks using these indicators. I'm going to turn off the Trading View Toolkit algorithm for just a moment, all right? And then I'm going to also turn off all of the, the candles for the Euro US dollar, all right? So you can't see any of the candles. And what I want to show you is when you look at this CIS CCT GG Market Vision core value, this core value, which is always orange, that is the step line that you see in the middle of this indicator. If that step line is down, the trend is down. If that step line is up, the trend is up. Very simple way to look at trend and trend performance in a market. All you have to do is just turn off your candles and you can see that very simply hidden in there and you get a quick look at the trend and you can see exactly how that trend performs up and down throughout that market relative to the core value moving up and down all right and that's an algorithmic core value adjusted from the pro trading chart analysis core value it's a little bit different but it's the same principle as far as establishing a trend. All right, so I'm gonna turn the candles back on, all right? And when I turn the candles back on, I'm gonna flip the Trading View Toolkit back on, and I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks here with this. All right, so when we came down to this bearish descent, this is not a three bar reversal at the bottom. You have a three bar here, but you don't have a three bar here. These are the projected values one step ahead. So this candle here, this white line is for the next candle. All right, it's the projected value for the next candle. And you can see where we have this non-performance area where it didn't go down in there. But then when you come up here, both in the capital structure here and here, as well as in the pro metrics on this side and this side, you have the three bar reversals that bring that price down into that void space. One thing you can look at when using this indicator is any time that you have that lull where it doesn't feel that performance potential, you can mark that area on your chart, either in the middle or all the way down at the bottom, as a target place to potentially trade a reversal back down. If there is not a three bar reversal in that area, there's not a three bar reversal off that peak low, then most likely you're going to come back down and see that area in the market making of the market and within the capital structure of capital performance itself. So there's a couple quick tricks as far as how you can use that indicator to kind of get an advanced perspective as to where to target the market in the future. You can also see the other videos for the TradingView Toolkit, get an idea of every little detail about the TradingView Toolkit, the CISCCT GG Market Vision video, which goes over how to trade using that with an active trading ladder, and how to target those levels, and how to trade what's called market inversion in the capital structure itself, and the TradingView Toolkit algorithm, how to use the buy and sell arrows, 
and the candle colors. It goes over every detail of those particular indicators. So one thing I wanted to demonstrate for you, looking at all of this, is how the TradingView Toolkit CIS GT Pro Metrics, which is the best in the world uh, lower study and oscillator for active trading and trading markets, is an advanced signal to actually what's going to happen within the capital structure. And go over a couple of those techniques as far as the reversal under compression and the price action three bar when you're approaching zero in a trend. So once again, my name's JC at CIS Trading with FX Insights. Thank you so much.